Hey everybody, this is Tosh with Tech Hive, and we're gonna talk about camouflage and tripods. With your tripod, most tripods come in like a black or gray. There's some new companies coming out and they're going ahead and changing the color, but usually they're black or gray. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is change the color of your tripod. So it was simple. I just took uh, two colors of spray paint, a light tan and a darker tannish color and, and got a good base color. Because remember, you're not the, the camouflage is not gonna hide this. What you're just trying to do is change the color, the contrast that, that uh, may be in the field. And then of course, once you use this, you're gonna have to veg it up. Okay, so natural veg is the best option. Sort of, I've kind of changed my view on that. With today's technology and Michael's, Hobby Lobby, they make fake veg. This will never die on you in the field. So I'm playing with this quite a bit and I'm and this is what I'm gonna use to uh, camouflage the weapon system or the, the tripod. So what do we gotta do for the tripods? Well, if you look at the tripod, you can see these hard lines, these hard angles, okay? Flat surfaces, even with the spray paint, there's still a little bit of a shine to it. So we need to veg it up a little bit. And so in, in the perfect world, you can shoot from a low position on your, from the prone position and have all kinds of natural veg around you and utilize that to your advantage. Well, sometimes in heavily wooded or heavily vegged areas, you can't shoot from the ground. It's just impossible. So you gotta shoot from a tripod. So when you do that, you create this, the shadows and you create a lot of problems with this, okay? So what we need to do is veg it up. Remember, when you veg your weapon system and your tripod up, in itself, it's not gonna be a bush. It, you, you may find yourself in a situation like that where you have to do such a great job on the vegetation that it's a standalone bush. But I would say if you find yourself in that position that was piss poor planning on your part, you need to really pick your, your spots, okay? But should you have to veg up, we're gonna do it. So it's real important when you start your veg on your tripod is first off, make sure you got a clear shooting path. You got the shooter solution all taken care of and you know that you're gonna be able to shoot through whatever's in front of you, okay? So it doesn't divert your, your round. Then you need to make this blend in and you need to attach the weapon system to the tripod while you're vegging it up. Okay, so it's already set up. So it's less to mess with when you need to take the shot. So the first thing I wanna do, if you look, somebody behind a weapon system, what you're trying to do is break up those shapes, those shapes of a human body, the, the triangles that they talk about. So right here in the shoulder. If I get behind the weapon system, it still looks like the silhouette of a man, okay? We need to use the tripod to aid in that process. Okay, so I already talked about veg fans in the past. Another use for the veg fan. So check this out. Just by putting this up, just this, look how it changes the profile, okay? And I don't even have a ghillie hat on at this point, okay? And I haven't vegged up the gun. I just put this simple veg fan in front of my weapon system. I did see comments in some of the uh, former uh, videos that we did about the barrel being exposed. So I never, at least it was never my experience that I did a, a FFP where I only relied on the veg of my weapon system, okay? I stack veg in the environment in front of me and use this as filler, not as the actual camouflage. So that's, that's the premise that I'm coming from. What's nice about this, this fake veg is that I could have a stuff sack. Now this is not a stuff sack, but if I had a stuff sack, I don't personally have one right now. I would carry this in my, my backpack and I could, instead of cutting from the environment around me, I've got this bag of veg that I don't have to worry about dying. I don't have to worry about it getting wet because it's plastic, right? And in the field, 
this will be easier to deal with than real veg and be, being able to get the volume of veg that I need to get. So now we've kind of got this shape somewhat taken care of, right? But we also need to hide the legs. So I found a quick way with this fake veg. Okay, let's take a look at this real quick. So we've already, so before this, you could see the legs, right? So right now, what we've done is we already broke up this, starting to break up this leg issue of the shine and the shape and the contrast, okay? It's hiding it very well. And this is essentially what you're trying to accomplish, hiding your tripod. You don't have to cover every little aspect, every little spot of your tripod, but you just got to break up the shape and the contrast like we talked about in the past, okay? So I'm doing little tweaks right now. Kind of hide shapes. Let me check, uh, see if I can see through the scope. Yep, I can see through the scope fine, just fine. And wow, that's it, that's really, that's as far as I need to go at this point, okay? As far as like the tripod itself. This is a good baseline to start from, right? So now, of course, I'm gonna veg up my ghillie hat, have my ghillie hat on, which is nice because we did this in a, in a past video, we had this all built out. I don't have to spend time in the field doing this. I can have all this stuff prepped and save time on having to veg up and get to the shooter solution and get prepared for the fight quicker. So now if we put the ghillie hat on, boom, behind the weapon system. This is without actually camouflaging the weapon system at this point, right? So I'm not doing it on the prone. I'm mainly more concerned about camouflaging the tripod because that's what's gonna stand out and then breaking up the shape of my silhouette. Now there's other things that you can do. You could slide in more veg laterally to break up the shape more. These veg fans are great. So this is essentially me standing behind it. You can see my black shirt, hopefully from behind a little bit, but you see how much more it hides. And essentially, this will probably work in most environments, this fake veg like this. Okay, guys, I've done a series of videos now about how to camouflage things up, okay? You've seen, you've seen the, the basics, okay? We're gonna do another video of either myself or Miles. We're gonna go ahead and do this in the field and we're gonna take a shot and you guys can take a look at how this veg works and then you'll get a look at it as if it were in the, when we are in the field as opposed to here in the backyard. So if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.